so good morning to everyone so in the previous class up till last we have seen that how it is divided into the autonomous system and in this autonomous system in each autonomous system there are the nodes present and in between this node one is the used for the speaker nodes and here in this we are in the example which we have used in this example there are three autonomous system we have used autonomous system one autonomous system two and autonomous system three and inside this autonomous system one there are the four nodes present and between these four nodes a4 is the speaker node same as that for autonomous system two there is also the four nodes present and between them b4 is the speaker node and for autonomous system three we have c1 as the speaker node so what is the purpose of the speaker node now each uh, under each autonomous system one is called the speaker node and in this speaker node or autonomous speaker node in autonomous system create the routing table and after creating the routing table it do what it does it advertise this routing table and advertise this routing table to the neighboring autonomous system speaker nodes present in the neighboring autonomous system so it advertise it to the advertise it to the neighboring autonomous system speaker nodes so that means speaker node is used for what it is used for communication with each other so the idea is main this idea is same as the distance vector routing which we have seen and speaker node in each autonomous system will communicate with each other so that's why there is the link present between all the speaker nodes if you observed correctly then you can see that there is the link between all the speaker nodes and present so what is known that the speaker nodes creates the routing table so as an example i have already discussed that the routing table of the speaker node let's say a4 this speaker node this routing table in the routing table there will be the two fields destination and another one is the path in the destination we have to first all of the nodes here you can see all of the nodes are a1 to a3 and a4 so we have to write all of the nodes here and in the path what we have to write in the path now these nodes are present which autonomous system we have to write that as a path so a1 is what a1 is present in a1 a2 is also present in a1 A3 is also present in AS1 and A4 is also present in AS1. So we have written that what we have all the uh, nodes that is present in the path. Same as that, if we consider for uh, another uh, autonomous system, autonomous system speaker node four. If we consider, then we will write what B1, B2, B3, B4. All the uh, all we will write all the uh, nodes. We will write, and in the path we will write autonomous system. So, uh, for the, uh, another autonomous system three, the speaker node is what the for for autonomous system three, the speaker node is C one. So the routing table, so the routing table of the C one will be what in the destination we will write C one, C two, C three, and C four, and in the path we will write autonomous system three, autonomous system three, and autonomous system three. So that means it will be written as like this. C one, C two, C three, and C four, and in this case, this will be written as for path autonomous system three, because it is all present in the 
autonomous system three. It is all present in the autonomous system three. So that's how the speaker nodes routing table can be formed. Now, if we have to go autonomous system one, now that means if we have to go to the autonomous system one, then we have to go through the, or, uh, sorry, if we have to go to the go A1 node, if we have to go to the A1 node, then we have go through the autonomous system one. Same as that, let's say for given that for go to the C3, so for go to the C3, we have to go to the autonomous system three. So this is how each speaker node routing table can be formed. Now, after right, after considering the routing table, let's say that now there is a condition happen that now C1 has the information. Now C1 has the information, let's say C4 wants to transfer some packet to A2 that C1 has the information of all the nodes. And let's say, let's say in the example, if we take that, let's say C4, C4 wants to transfer some packet that C4 is present in where? C4 is present in the autonomous system three. C4 wants to send some packet to A2. Now C1 has all the information all the informations of other speaker node present in other autonomous system because all the speaker nodes are connected with each other what we have said that all the speaker nodes are connected with each other so that means c1 has the information of a4 because a4 is a speaker node same as that c1 has the information for b4 also same as before has the information of A4 and C1 also. And for A4 also, it has the information of C1 and B4. Because all of the speaker nodes present in different autonomous system are connected with each other because they communicate with each other. So that's why what in its example I have taken that let's, we are uh, assuming that C1, C1 has the information of what? C1 has the information of this speaker node a4 and C1 has the information of this speaker node B4 also. This that are present in the autonomous system one and autonomous system two. Now let's say that C4, this C4 wants to send some information to what? Sends to information to A2. Let's say that these are the condition that C4 wants to send some message to A2. Then C4 will do what? C4, you can see that C4 is interconnected with each node present in the autonomous system three. That is C4 is connected to C1, C4 is connected to C3 and C4 is connected to C2 also. That means it is connected with each node that is present in the autonomous system three. So that means C4 will first, at first C4 will do what? It will send C4 goes fast to C1. Now, why it is going to C1 first? Because C1 is the speaker node. And speaker node is interconnected with each other speaker node that is present in the different autonomous system. So that means what C4 will do what? C4 will find that what is its speaker node in the autonomous system, in which autonomous system it is present in this autonomous system, what is the speaker node? So in this C4 will find what? In this autonomous system three, C1 is the speaker node. So C4 will go fast to the C1. Now C1 do, will do what? C1 has the information of all because it is uh, connected with each other speaker nodes. So C1 has what? It has all the information available. That information available. Now C1 goes to what? It goes to C1 has the information that it has to go to A2. So C1 will do what? C1 will communicate with the speaker node. Will C1 will communicate with the speaker node in which A2 is present. Now, it has the information because the routing table is shared with each other. So it has the information. C1 has the information that A2, A2 node is present in what? A2 node is present in autonomous system one. Now, in this autonomous system one, what is the speaker node in this autonomous system one? 
the speaker node is A4. So C1 will communicate with A4 here and through A4, C1 will contact to A4 and transmit its packet. Then from A4, it will go to the A2. So that's how the communication should make. That C4 will do what? It will check what in which in the autonomous system, which it is present. What is the speaker node of it? So it will find that one is the speaker node. So it will transmit the packet here. Now we all know that all the what we all the speaker nodes are interconnected with each other, and all the speaker nodes has information of other speaker nodes. So that means C1 has the information, C1 will have the information that it contains the routing table will be shared with each other. So it has the routing table of the A4 speaker nodes. So when the A4 speaker nodes will present in this, it will find that destination A2, the path is what? Is one. So that means what? It will send the packet to A4 and from A4, it will send to the A2. So that's how the total things happens. This is what the communication between a transferring the packet happens like this. Okay, clear? Dolly, it is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is how communication should be made. Now, the routing table. Now, building a routing table. A path vector routing table for each router can be created if autonomous systems share their reachability list with each other in a table format, then the routing table can be created. Now, if we considering this, if we considering this, let's say if we considering this autonomous system, considering this autonomous system, we will do what? In path vector routing table, for each router can be created. Each router path vector routing table in path vector routing, each router can create created if autonomous systems share their reachability list with each other in the table format. Then the routing table can be created. So the routing table considering this. Now, autonomous systems share reachability with each other. So this, considering this, we are considering that AS1 uh, autonomous system. So it will share what? It will share its reachability with autonomous system 2. And it will also share its reachability with autonomous system 3. So at first, we will consider autonomous system 1. So that means what the routing table will look like. You see, the routing table will look like this. That first destination first there will be the destination and path these two fields will be present we all know now we are considering using autonomous system one we are considering autonomous system one and autonomous system one shared its reachability to autonomous system two let's say it shared its reachability with autonomous system two and autonomous system three. So it is sharing its reachability with autonomous system two and autonomous system three. So we are considering with what? We are considering the first autonomous system one. So the destination will be what? All the nodes that are present in the autonomous system one will be written here. So A1 to A4, that is, there are four autonomous nodes uh, present in the autonomous system one. So we'll write A1, A2, A3, A4. We will write that. Now, the path is what now? Where these nodes are present? Where these nodes are present? In the path, we will write that. This A1, A2, A3, A4, all are present in autonomous system one. So we will write it as the autonomous system one. Then. We will consider the next autonomous system. Now we will consider second autonomous system with respect to the autonomous system one. The autonomous system one is sharing its stability. That means by going from autonomous system one, 
to autonomous system to only share the reachability. So that's why in the destination, all the nodes that are present in the autonomous system two will be retained. So from B1, B2, B3, B4, all the autonomous system, uh, all the nodes that are present in the autonomous system two will be like that. And here you see in the path, in respect to autonomous system, we are considering it in respect to autonomous system one. So that's why because autonomous system one is shared it's situated to autonomous system two. So that is from going autonomous system one to autonomous system two. We have to retain that. So that's phase one, then phase two. For B2 also it will be AS1, A, then B3 also it is AS1 to AS2. Because AS1 is sharing its stability. It's ability to the autonomous system two. So that's why we are calling like this. Say so that if we go for the third, the autonomous system one is sharing its ability to the autonomous system. So it's in beta in the inside this autonomous system three. Order Autonomous system. So we will write that. We will write that first. So after writing from autonomous system one to autonomous system three, the reachability is because autonomous system one is sharing. So that's why it is from AS1 to AS3. Same as that, if we consider the AS2, in this case, if we consider the AS2, then what it will make? destination it is respect to the this table is respect to what this table is respect to the autonomous system but autonomous system one but if we consider the table with respect to with respect to autonomous system two then what will be the routing table if we consider it using respect to the autonomous system two so that means autonomous system two is sharing its reachability with autonomous system one and autonomous system three. So that means the routing table will look like what? First, we will write here B1, B2, B3, then B4. And here we will write it as a AS2 autonomous system 2. Same as that for B2 also. For B3 also, it will be autonomous system 2. Next, we will consider what next we will, let's say, we'll consider that A1, A2, a1, A2, A3, then A4. Now, now what is the in respect in respect to the autonomous system two? So that means is two, two. Is one with respect to this. With respect to this, we will use same as that for A two also. It will be A two to A S one. A three also it will be A two to A S one. A four also it is A S two. Is A S one. It is from A S two to A S one. So that means if we consider, if we consider this C two, let's say this C two, then it will become what? is two two is three it will be is two two is three like this in if we consider in respect to the autonomous system three in that case all of the nodes will first 
that means what that means what will happen if we consider it with respect to with respect to the autonomous system 3 what it will looks like in respect to the autonomous system 3 what will be the table look like anyone can say that what this table will looks like now anyone Shital, Priti, anyone try to do it or what can happen? Dolly, sir, your voice is not coming clearly. Maybe my network. My voice is not coming clearly. It is audible now. It is audible. It is, um, please respond that it is audible or not. So like this, the routing tables can be created. So this, the routing table can be created. Now for the loop prevention. Loop prevention is what? The loop prevention is when for the loop prevention, When a router receives reachability, when the router receives a reachability links or information, then it checks to see if the autonomous system in the path list to any destination. That means if it, there is any loop involved, if any there is a loop involved, then the network path pair is discarded. If there is any loop we found, then what we will do, the network pair path, the network pair like this, if we find any loop, if we find any loop, then like this, the network pair part will be discarded. So this is what, this is all about our path vector routing. So path vector routing is all about that. So next we will start the last, the last is the This is all about the path vector routing. So next, the last protocol. So we have already till now, we have seen the link state routing protocol, the uh, link state routing, then OSPF routing protocol, then the path vector routing. And at last we will see the border gateway protocol. This is the last protocol. We will see that the border gateway protocol. Now, this border gateway protocol is also for the path vector routing protocol. We also seen that this is the inter-domain routing protocol. The path vector routing is also the inter-domain. It is not the intra-domain. It is the inter-domain routing protocol. And this BGP border gateway protocol is also uses the path vector routing. Now, for this BGP, we have to work on the different autonomous system. We have to work on the different types of autonomous system. So that's why we will first know what are the types of the autonomous system are present because BGP works on different autonomous system. So first 
we have to know what are the different autonomous system present. Now, there are four types of autonomous system present. There are total, uh, sorry, not four. This is the total three types of autonomous system present. Now, what are them? First autonomous system is stub autonomous system. Now, what is the stub autonomous system? A stub autonomous system has only one connection to the another autonomous system. That means there should be only one connection present. A stub autonomous system has only one connection to another autonomous system. That means whenever an autonomous system is connected to the other and between them only one connection is present, we call them as the stub autonomous system. And data traffic cannot pass through this stub autonomous system. Through this stub autonomous system, data traffic cannot be passed. And in this stub autonomous system, it will be either source or sync. A stub autonomous system is either source or sync. That means what? That means here in the diagram you see there are the two autonomous system present. Here in the autonomous, you see there are the two autonomous system present. Autonomous system one and autonomous system two. So what we have seen that in stub autonomous system, there will be between them, there will be only one connection. So that's why here you see there is only one connection between them. And there will be no data traffic and there will be no data traffic cannot pass through the stub autonomous system. And a stub autonomous system is either a source or a sink. So that means stub autonomous system can either act as a source or a sink. Now source means what? Like here, we if we say that AS1 is the source, we say, let's say that AS1 is the source. So that means data is traveling from AS1 to AS2. If we consider AS1 as the source, that means data is traveling from autonomous system one to autonomous system two. Same as that, if we consider autonomous system two as the source, that means data is traveling from autonomous system two to autonomous system one. So whichever you will act or choose as a source, the data will move from there. The data will travel from that. So here we have taken that autonomous system one is the source. If the autonomous system one is act as a source, then that here in our example, uh, auton from autonomous system one to autonomous system two, the data will travel. If we choose autonomous system one as a source, and if we choose autonomous system one as a sink, if we choose autonomous system one as a sink, that means autonomous system one will consume, autonomous system one will consume the data whichever is coming to him. That means any data from any other autonomous system, if data is coming to the autonom autonomous system one, it will do what? It will consume it. And the data cannot go beyond that autonomous system. That means data cannot go from here. Data cannot go from here also. That means data which is coming to the autonomous system if autonomous system one acts as a sink, that means whichever from whatever autonomous system the data is coming, it will be consumed by the autonomous system one. And the data will not be travel or data will not go beyond this autonomous system one. This is what the total example of stub autonomous system. Okay. Now the second type is what? The second type is multi-homed autonomous system. Now what is multi-homed autonomous system? It has more than one connection. In stub autonomous system, we see that there is only one connection. But the, for the multi-homed autonomous system, it has more than one connection to the other autonomous system. More than one connection is present. But 
it is still only a source on a sink for data traffic. That is here also source and sink concept is present. In multi-home autonomous system also, the source and sink, source and sink information or the policy is present. And there is no transient traffic. There will be no transient traffic. That means pass through, which is not applicable. Here you see, we have told that more than one connection is present. So here you see that autonomous system is what? Autonomous system is connected to autonomous system two, autonomous system one is connected to autonomous system three, autonomous system one is connected to autonomous system four also. That means what? That means it has multi-connection, it has multiple connection. And here also, there the concept present is source sensing. That means AS1 is if AS1 is considered as the source, if let's say AS1 is act as a source, that means all the data travel from AS1. All the data should travel from the AS1. And if AS1 is acts as a sink, that means from all other autonomous system, the data will go to the autonomous system one. And autonomous system one will do what? It will consume that data. And here also this thing is applicable that data doesn't go beyond the autonomous system one. That means data cannot travel beyond the autonomous system. This is what? This is not applicable. This is not applicable. So here also for the multi-homed autonomous system concept is that. And the last autonomous system which we have present is the transient autonomous system. The last autonomous system is the transit autonomous system. Transit autonomous system. Now it is the multi home autonomous system that allows the transient traffic. Now what it is meaning? Now this meaning is what you can see from the diagram itself. You will see that autonomous system one is connected to what? It is connected to autonomous system two, autonomous system three, autonomous system four and autonomous system five because it is multi-home. We already know that in multi-home, the data is what? There will be the more than one connection is present for the multi-home. Transient autonomous system is the multi-home autonomous system. Only a small change is here that whatever we have seen till now, that's in stub autonomous system, in multi-home autonomous system, that data cannot go beyond the autonomous system one, which we have seen. But here you see the data is going beyond the autonomous system. Here the data is going beyond the autonomous system. So that means if AS2 has to send something, if autonomous system two has to send some data to, let's say from AS24 autonomous system, so the data will travel through AS1 and from AS1, the data will travel to autonomous system two. So this is what this is will look like that. Because data will from autonomous system two, the data will travel to autonomous system one. And from autonomous system one, the data will travel to the autonomous system four. That means this flow, this flow is known as the transient traffic. So we called it as the transient traffic. So here it is going beyond in the stab autonomous system and multi home autonomous system. We have seen that there is no option that the data can go beyond that. But here the data is going beyond it. So this is what the transit autonomous system. So these are the three types of autonomous system present. Okay. Clear to everyone? Anyone has any question? Shital, Piti, Pallavi, Margan. Someone yes, sir. Hello? Okay. So this is all about our transit autonomous system. And the last there is uh, the full another thing is what the path attributes 
there is a path attributes and this path attribute consists of what this path attributes is the vector routing this path attribute is the vector routing and it is inside used inside the pgp so details about this path attributes we will discuss in the next class in tomorrow about this path attributes and the bgp sessions for the bgp sessions and the types of the packets in bgp and whatever the types of the packets in the bgp are present and the all of it we have seen that the format the format we will see in the next class okay so thank you everyone and quickly in between this time if scan this qr code and if anyone thinks any question then he or she may ask